All right, guys, this is uh, Jacob from Wager Me This again, and I'm doing another subscriber strategy today. So you're going to get two videos from me and a live video today. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but this is from Kay Johnston, uh, 10, 19, 15, uh, Yahoo. Uh, he, it's pretty simple strategy. And he was the, he was actually the first one to submit the strategy when I said that I'd lost all of them, but like I said, skill and luck had a, a whole lot of time that I had never done his strategy. So I had to get that one out. Um, so what, what this is, is a $300 bankroll, 64 across working. So that's cool. Okay, I'm going to use this for my working and this when they're off. Okay, so it's working. And basically, you go two hits, uh, you press both times, full press, and then you turn them off after two hits and you run a $15 cum three-point molly. So it's a pretty simple strategy. It's like two strategies mixed together, which is kind of cool. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Eight, four, four. All right, fourteen dollar winner. Remember, it is working. Well, he's supposed to have a dollar over here. All right, all the way up. Twenty-eight. He didn't say powder press. He said full press. There's a difference. Six. Power press is you to add money to get to the next step. All right, fourteen dollar winner. Okay, rack up two. All right, now he said he turns them off. Okay, use this green chip saying I'm off, and then he runs fifteen dollar come bets with odds. Seven. He's not gonna have to do it this time. The reason he says he does this is because he's trying to build these bets up here uh, without, you know, only two rolls of risk. It's actually really, really brilliant. All right. Rack that up. New shooter. Working on the come out. Let's get a new shooter dice. Here we go. Eight. See, and if you did this a couple times, this is really going to take off. 24 is going to pay 28. All right. That's going to be an addition of 24. So 24 plus 24 is 48. So we're going to go to 48. Rack these. Aces. Okay. He says... He doesn't say two rolls, he says two hits. Ten. All right, got our first ten. It's gonna be eighteen dollar winner. Ten will pay eighteen. It's gonna bump it all the way to a quarter. And I'm guessing we're buying it. Rack it up. That's second hit, bets are off. Fifteen dollar come bet. Here we go. Seven. So this is working as well as it can work, I think. Basically. You're getting through your shoot, the first part of the shooter. Then when you put your cum bed out there, it's hitting. Pretty amazing. Here we go. Working. Six. Okay. It's going to be a $28 winner. We're going to go to 48 One hit. Six back to back. Wow. Okay. Uh, Fifty six. All 
Okay, so that's uh, that's a whole bunch. <laughs> okay, so we're full pressing that. 54. He doesn't ever tell you when to collect. All right, so you got 90 in 12. Rack two. I'm gonna say anytime we get up to that level, anytime we get up to around $100, we're just gonna collect. And eight, okay. Oh, this would have been on the pass line, my bad guys. All right, and these bets are off now. Two hits, he's off, all right? He said add odds, so I'm gonna add the same amount as odds. And then he said do it three times like a three-point molly. Aces, so we're gonna lose there. He didn't say anything about that. So we're just gonna keep repeating until we have three. Five, okay. And we're still off on them place bets. Let's get some uh, reds. Okay. And a 10. Okay. Okay, now we got our three point Molly running. We're just trying to hit some of these numbers now. Five. We got our five. Awesome. We'll bring it over here. Okay, so it's three there. And I should have made that 16. That's my fault. So 15, one and a half times, it, it ends up being like $22 is what they'll probably pay you. All right. Still playing the three-point molly. So I'm going to replace that. Nine. Okay. So this time I'm going to put 16 in odds because that's, that's the correct. Or, or you go to 10 or 12. Seven. Okay. So we did lose all these, which is a lot, hundred dollars. All right. Now we're working again. Seven. Dang it. I really thought that was going somewhere, guys. Dang. All right. Let's try to build that back up. That is actually working really well. And he doesn't have a, anything in here about when to pull it down or anything. So there, there's, Mr. Johnson, if you have a, uh, like if you have a way you normally do that, then just let me know and, I, and I'll, I'll tell the people what it is you normally do there. $100. Sorry, 64 across. Oops. Here we go. We're working. Ow, oh, seven. Dang it. All right. So I'm just going to drop 64 out of the bank here. There's 65. Get a dollar here. All right, so we need some winners. Five, okay. Fifteen for one. All the way up. Eight. Okay. $14 winner. We're off. $15 come bets. Eight. Just gonna travel. 15 in odds. 
four. I'm gonna go ten dollars in odds because I don't quite have the money left in the bankroll here. Six. Okay, three points. What do we have here for odds? Ten. Okay, we had fifteen. We'll use it. Don't get scared now, right? Three. Six. All right. So we got one of them. Fifteen there. Eighteen on the odds. Made a little little shot there. Nine. Okay, it's moving to nine. Sixteen. Nine, all right. Back to back. There. That right there. Sixteen. So basically it plays, it'll pay sixteen plus eight, which is three to two. All right, so it's gonna give you 24. Here we go. Ten. All right. And before I went with ten, so I'm gonna go with ten over there. Five point made. Okay. Uh, you don't say to be on on these odds or not, so I'm gonna be off on the odds. Eight. Yes, I should have been on, but that's still good. That's still a winner. All right. It's still gonna win fifteen on the bottom. Which is good. 15 bucks. Here we go. Aces. Ugh, lost our 15 bucks. Six. Okay. 15 in odds. Five. Still same shooter. If he would have just been playing, this would have made a ton of money. Five, especially on that five. They were already up at a quarter. So, oh, look at all these fives. Oh my gosh. But a lot of aces and a lot of fives. Ten, got the ten. Awesome. Okay. Fifteen there. Twenty there. Six, got the six. This is a super long roll. And a lot of good numbers. I'm gonna drop a dollar for a quarter on them odds. Oh, never mind. My bad. Wrong one. Give us our dollar back. Because that's 18. Okay, rack it all up. Six, right back to it. Seven out. Okay, pretty good run there. Definitely made up for the bad one. Okay, here we go, we're working. We're back on on these place bets. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't mix up the dice, right? That was the problem. Dang it, I didn't mix up your dice. You can blame that one on me. I guess they're all my fault. I'm rolling. All right. Dang, that, that was pretty good. I'm going to run through this one more time. I don't really have the money for the... The combats, so I might have to drop down on it a little bit, but I'm going to try to run through this one more time. And what I'm going to do is when I go to the combats, I'm going to uh, 
use the money on the place bets as my odds. Four. Okay. So that was that's a winner. He was work, he's always working. Alright, eighteen dollars. We're gonna go all the way up, buy that. Alright, here we go. Yo, that, that rolled off that seven. <laughs> and then it rolled right onto it. Well, dang it. Sorry, Mr. Johnson. I actually think this strategy has a lot of validity to it. I actually think that with just a little tweaking, this strategy could be really profitable. Let's see if we got enough to go one more time here. Working. Aces. Five. Okay. Fourteen dollar winner. We're gonna drop a dollar for fifteen. What's up? I'm almost done, buddy. Okay. Eight. Okay. So there's. Good job. All right, so we're going to go all the way up here. 24. All right, so now he says go off. All right, I got enough for one combat. Six. Okay, so on that, I'm just going to go like this. That way I have odds at least. Seven, okay. So it died quick. I wasn't able to kind of move the way I wanted to move there. But we're still in the game. I'm going to split this up. That way I get my initial bet back. It says change the dice. Since I probably messed him up the first time. All right, we're working. Yo, 11. Seven. Dang it. Too many come out sevens. All right. Well, I do think this this strategy is actually very very good. Like in for two main reasons, I think this strategy is fantastic. First reason is you're putting money out there on a lot of ways to win. All right. Second reason is you're leaving your money out there for a short amount of time and you're pressing it up. So, in my opinion, I'm going to run a, just a quick simulation of what I think one good change would be. Just a really good change to make. Alright, so I'm going to get the same $300. Now again, this is just my opinion. On a, just an okay shooter, this strategy will work great. We saw it a couple times make 100 bucks easily. Alright, same thing. 64 cross. Bubba, what's up? Tell everybody who you are. Just Say it loud. Just this. All right, because that's the question they got to answer tonight, one of them. All right, so 64 across. We'll go working. I don't think that matters on or off. All right, two hits. Aces. Seven, okay. So we lost that one. I'm just going to drop 64. So 65 here. Get a dollar. We're working. Nine, okay. So drop a dollar for 15. Go all the way up to 25. That's one hit. 12. Nine. All right, cool. So we got really lucky. All right, that's going to pay 35 Same thing, I agree. Go all the way up. All the way up to 60 Turn the bets off. Run the come bets. I would just do $10 in the come. He must play at $15 tables because a $15 come bet's kind of weird. Five. Okay, point is five. I guess this would be on the pass line. All right, 
$10 in alts, let's get $50 in reds. I don't, I don't, I don't mind the three point molly after this. I actually think it's a good idea, even though I'm not an odds guy. Judge. 10. Hey, big baby. Judge. Cool. All right, get us some odds. See if we can get that third point out there. Eight. Okay, so we got a third point. Okay, so if you made it this far, in my opinion, whatever number you have pressed up, that way you're guaranteeing yourself some profit, whichever, if it's two numbers, take them down. I think you should take this money down. And at this point, once you got that three point molly going, any of the other numbers that are part of it, you should take their bets down too. Now this is once you get the three point molly established. And then you should turn it back on. Whatever's left, you should turn back on. So now you, you, you've locked in some money on them wins, and now you're going for it again. And I think from here, you should do the same two hit thing. Okay, so there's one hit. So that's an $18 hit. We're gonna go all the way up to a quarter, buy it. That's one hit. And an eight, okay? That's another hit, and I would count that as a hit specifically to turn your bets off. There's 12 there and 10 there, all right? Rack it all up. Never mind. I would count, what I mean by that is I would count that and I would bump that up to 24 for this one when you're turning it off. You're turning these off, all right? And now you're back to your three point molly. Your place bets are off. This is also, this would also be considered a place bet. That, that buy would be off. Nine, okay. Okay, once you got that three point molly established again, remember all the ones you bumped up, take them down. All right, so we bumped up these ones. And the reason I'm doing this this way is if if you get and you roll a seven and it knocks off your three point molly, I'd then leave them ones I bumped up. I wouldn't take them down, all right? But right here, I'd roll this out, fight this, just like this. Point made five, okay? Two there, three and back. All right, we're coming out. Still look for our three points. There's a seven, okay? Odds are gonna get returned. It's gonna win here. That's gonna lose, all right? This is basically like a, a, a shooter lost. Even though the shooter ain't, didn't lose, I would consider it like that because he finally rolled a seven. And I would put all my money back out there and start the whole process over. So I know there's a lot to that. There's a lot to like what I just did. But, and I mean, if you didn't have to have that pass line, I'd take that off. So if you weren't shooting, I would definitely take that off. Eight. <clears throat> all right. So that's going to be a $14 winner. So I'm going to run through this again. Hopefully it'll let me. All right, so that's all the way up. Nine, okay. All the way up on the nine. Drop a dollar. Get 15. Go to 25. All right, now we're going to turn the bets off. Now we're going to go to our three point. All right, if we get all the way through the three point to where there's three points out there, we're going to take down all the bets we bumped up. Four, okay. Ten dollars in odds. Nine. Oh, there was supposed to be a come bet there. Ten dollars in odds. And four. We made it at four. All right. So on and off right there is thirty dollars. I'm just gonna collect thirty bucks.
Hold on. Okay, so on. Yeah, okay, on and off works. Just make sure I'm messing up. Aces, and we lost that come bit. All right, one more com point. And it's a nine, so here we go. That's a $25 winner, 10 and 15. On and off, we're just gonna rack it. And the four, that's a $30 winner, on and off. This is where this three point molly on this actually comes in. If you start smacking numbers, all right, point made eight. Doesn't really matter because we don't have none of that working. All right, drop that on there because we're taking that down anyway. All right, we got our three points, we're taking that nine down. Then we're turning everything back on. So this, either put it on there or take it down. I'm taking it down. All right, everything's working. We're working all the way across. Here we go. Seven. Okay, we lost. Okay, dude. Anyway, so that's how, that's the one difference in the way that I would play it. And, and he may do something to collect money, but he didn't write anything in there on how he collects the money. All right, so let's see where we ended up. We did okay. For me, just kind of trying to figure something out. Bubba, come on. Stop, son. All right, 15. I mean, uh, 75, not 15. Okay, let's see where we end up. Three fifty-one. So we made fifty-one dollars, and uh, we had the opportunity to make a lot more. And with some more tweaking, I could probably, you know, bleed a little more money out of the strategy. I actually like this strategy a lot. I think it's awesome. Uh, so, uh, props to Kay Johnston. I mean, this is really good. Uh, and now on a three hundred dollar bankroll, you're putting out sixty-four bucks. You're only going to be able to do that five times, probably. So maybe, maybe a five hundred dollar bankroll would probably be better for this. But with just, it doesn't even take a good roll to really make some money on it, especially if it goes two hits, and then three or four hit. Even if it goes to the fourth roll and rolls a seven, you're going to collect some money at the end there. Even though you're going to lose a come bet or two, it's still going to make up for that other come. And then you're going to just restart over. So I just really think that this actually has a lot of merit. And it's really good. So, hey, awesome. Great job, dude. Anyways, this is uh, Jacob from Wager Me This. And y'all show up at my live stream tonight at 9. And uh, I'm giving away these two Margaritaville dice. Uh, they're actually the first casino dice I ever had. So it's it's kind of means something to me. So it's kind of cool. So one of the subscribers hopefully will win that. And uh, like I said in my post, I'm going to do a subscriber versus a subscriber. $300 bankrolls, 30 rolls. Whoever wins, wins. So wins the dice. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, you guys have a good day.